Hey, this is Pastor Larry with you again today, and uh, I want to share a couple more thoughts from uh, the book of Ephesians, in particular today from chapter 2, verse 4, where it uses two kind of uh, stained glass words, uh, yet are common in our English language, but I don't think we always understand the depth of them. They are the words mercy and grace. Uh, mercy is unmerited forgiveness. You give mercy to somebody when they've done wrong to you and you don't call for full justice, you don't call for revenge, or you let it go. That's what mercy is. Grace is unmerited favor. It's the other side of it. When you get what you don't really deserve or you get way, way more than you deserve. Uh, Grace isn't always something for nothing, but it's an incredible amount for a puny little amount. And so listen to this passage in light of those two definitions of mercy and grace that we have received. But because of his great love for us, God who is rich in mercy, this unmerited forgiveness, he made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace, unmerited favor, far more than you could have ever earned, that you and I have been saved. I love those two words. Because in my flesh, I have a tendency to so quickly compare myself with other people. And you know, when I do that, I always find those who are lagging behind. I never tend to focus on those who are running ahead. And uh, I I can get this idea that, well, God, you're really lucky to have someone like me. Uh, God, you're really... uh, rather fortunate that I made a decision to somehow follow you, or I made a decision to make certain sacrifices, or I did something. And the reality of it is, I stand before the Lord just like you. All of us stand before him, having received not mercy that anybody should give us, but mercy that is completely, completely, absolutely unmerited from a God who is rich in mercy. It's not like I kind of paid my penalty for it or I had enough sorrow that I deserved it. Unlimited, undeserved mercy. And then on top of that, when we were absolutely dead, when we were his enemies, not after we turned, we are saved by this thing called grace, receiving far more than the best of us on our best day could ever deserve. I encourage you to go out today and relish, if you're a Jesus follower, in the mercy and the grace that you have received. We don't live an obedient life so we can get mercy, so we can get grace. We live an obedient life because we have received mercy and we have received grace. And once we fully understand that, there's nothing else that we would even think of doing as we're blown away by the riches of his great mercy and his incredible grace.